hello everyone so we are finally back with uh, one of the strongest tool which is used for cap uh, packet capturing and today we will try to learn that how we can analyze the malware using wireshark so let's start and we will check which uh, how how many type of questions we have and what are the questions and we will try to answer those questions so i have a pk file and this pk file uh, I can say yeah so we I have a pk file and there is a, uh, some traffic which already has been captured uh, this file all I will be available in the below link or uh, you can check it and you can download and meanwhile parallelly you can also put all the operations whatever I am doing so that will be more understandable to you so let's say uh, let's see uh, what what questions we have so these are the some type of questions we have that uh, what is the ip address of windows vm that's get affected what is the host name of windows vm that's get affect, uh, infected uh, what is the mac address ip address of compromised website domain name and then ip address and domain name that delivered the exploit kit and malware at last we will see that uh, what is the domain name that delivered the exploit kit and malware so uh, we will see this step by step we will go from uh, 1 to 7 step by step let's see so the so our first question is uh, what is the IP address of the Windows VM that's get affected right but before proceeding that you got this file how you will analyze that yeah, yeah there is something malware in these uh, pk file or in this packet packet or not so for this uh, just follow my these instructions let's say uh, we have to find a uh, source so source port and destination port that uh, which type of uh, ports uh, traffic has been gone so definitely if there is some something malware or something uh, 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 different things is happening then there should be a port of http right so we will start try to search that the uh, port of http which is 80 before this i am just uh, uh, doing some shortened things like uh, source i need a source port i need destination ports great now so here um, it is not filtered right it is not filtered and i got only source port and destination port but i need to filter it out correct so let's say http because we are getting each and every traffic on http so here is the host the these are the host which we are getting from this pk file now the question is very simple we need to investigate that where is the malware so as we know http is working as the application layer so definitely we are going in the file section and we need to export objects and http so once we will go there you can check all the host names all the content type and what is the size and the file name so i'm just uh, doing it filter out so you can see there are my one two three four five six seven there are seven applications fi files which is present and there are also uh, html file css file and there is also image which is present but it as it's malware so definitely it can be on uh, there is more chances that it should be on application so we are going to save these files uh, before proceeding please keep remember one thing that do these things on your virtual machine not on your on your windows machine because it have uh, highly malicious files which can affect your uh, pc so i am saving these three files we are having different different okay let's say uh, i am saving this one and i am saving in on desktop wireshark tutorial i have already made a folder okay save there
see it's a virus okay so windows defender is already telling me that it's a virus do not save it but uh, for your again it's a virus it is showing virus and again I am okay so I have I have uh, keep all the three files now let me check let me check where it is so here it is so I cannot uh, directly put my files into Wireshark sorry on virus total see all these files are automatically uh, is being deleted by the Windows Defender because it's malware so what I will do I cannot firstly I cannot put all the information on virus uh, virus total why because it might happen that uh, there should be some some of the uh, files or some of the confidential information which can be shared to virus total so I cannot do, uh, do this so for this I we have a hash my file so I can simply open it and add file this one is one of the file which is re remaining right so now I have a MD5 correct uh, you can take this MD5 and you can check on virus total whether it is malicious or not so my two files is already being deleted by Windows Defender because it was malicious but this one this one might be clean and might be the zero day attack which is not detected by the virus total as it's simple so uh, finally we get to know that yeah we have uh, we have the viruses uh, in this uh, pcap file now how we are going to uh, answer these questions what is the ip address of the windows vm that get affected so for that i'm just simply giving the command http dot request okay done okay so what is the source ip we can see this is the source ip right so i can copy copy from from here or you can copy from here that will be more better right so this this is one of the first answer for this one we got the infected uh, source ip right and second second uh, question was that what is the host name of the windows vm that's get affected infected right so for that well, for that we can we can check in nbns this is one of the way where we can check see here this is the host name and we so we can see by using nbns we can we can find the host name uh, k34 the you can also find it out uh, find it by dscp uh, which is uh, uh, the second method uh, proceeding uh, uh, with the third question that is what is the mac address of the infected vm so for this it is very simple and we can we can see that uh, where it is uh, we can find it out okay let's see uh, let me check the http all the request is okay so we have uh, one of the MAC address of this one so we can see this is uh, the MAC address of the uh, source one so this is the question, uh, answer of the third one now fourth question is what is the IP address of the compromised website and what is the domain of the compromise uh, oh, sorry website right so IP and domain uh, which what is that type of IPs and domains so for this we can check all the HTTP request HTTP dot request 
here here we have the host name the, which is the domain and we have the destination as well so we got the destination IP and the uh, domain of name as well and sixth question uh, what is the IP address and domain name that delivered exploit kit malware so we have seen we have seen that uh, the the file which we have downloaded that was related to this domain right so the IP is this and domain is this one so I think we have already finished all the yeah domain name I already told you so this uh, the, this is the way how we can investigate how we can analyze the malware uh, using Wireshark so it is uh, as I said it is one of the strongest tool uh, for packet uh, capturing and it will be very helpful for you uh, if you are a, a SOC analyst then you should use it because it will be very helpful for you uh, to determine uh, your traffics which type of traffics you are getting and whether it is malicious or not so that's that's the end of uh, this session uh, thank you so much for connecting and please subscribe this channel and if you want some more videos on this uh, i will be very happy to share it uh, thank you so much bye bye take care